Have you ever seen a butterfly chrysalis? For some reason they remind me of a mummy all wrapped up. Last summer I found a chrysalis in my garden and the shell was so hard and thick I was like this thing is never going to come out of here. But when the butterfly is ready it starts to push and it starts to squirm and it seems like it's never going to be able to get out but it keeps trying. Pretty soon they're like flying around your head. If you ever saw a butterfly trying to get out of its chrysalis, you probably wanted to get out some of these. But it's actually not a good idea. If you let the butterfly out without him having to do it himself, without him breaking out of there, the butterfly will never fly. He has to have that struggle. And as strange as it sounds, we kind of need a little struggle at the beginning in order to make us fly. When I started playing violin, it wasn't easy. I mean, you have to hold the violin and then hold the bow and then play at the same time. And sometimes it just really doesn't sound that great. But keep trying. You're in a cocoon right now. Wiggle, push, try again. Because your cocoon is starting to break little by little. We have three steps. First, hold, how to hold the violin. Second, how to hold your bow. And then third, we're going to start playing music. Put your violin under your arm like a stack of books, show it off to everyone, twist it around, and bring it into your neck. You kind of want your head to stay where your head belongs. Don't want it coming forward, you don't want to twist your neck over, or do something weird, because that just might hurt. So when you bring your violin into your neck, just rest down like it's a pillow. I already made a video on how to hold your boat. So make sure you watch how to hold a bow like a bunny rabbit. Now that you've learned how to hold the violin, how to hold your bow, it's time to learn your notes. We've got G, D, A, E. Are you ready to play now? We're gonna start with down bows. Down, 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 and down. You can do five, you can do ten, maybe twenty, thirty. See how many you can do. All right, now let's do down, up bows. Down, up, down, up, down, up. You're about to fly on your violin. And I want to help you take off. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get the next lessons. All right, that's all for today.